the other side, the other side, take a ride to the other side. So here we are on our final morning in Saigon. Uh, we still have three days left before we have to leave the country, but we've reached an impasse about what to do next. I want to spend our final days off the southern coast of Vietnam on an island called Phu Quoc. And I want to go north to Hao Long Bay. Um, we've only got an hour to book our tickets, so we've left it to the fickle finger of fate. Heads Phu Quoc, tails Hao Long Bay. So, fingers crossed. Phu Quoc it is. So here we are, day two, on our Phu Quoc uh, adventure. Um, the first day, the first night, uh, we stayed at a pretty average, overpriced hotel. The beach was very nice, um, but apart from that, there wasn't really much to show you. Um, so now we've consulted our trusty friend, TripAdvisor, and we're on our way to something a little bit more rural. lodge set in a secluded part of the island. Um, we could easily stay here all day drinking a few drinks and enjoying the exquisite scenery but we're about to go exploring. First to the butterfly garden just next door before we take an intrepid scooter journey to the northwestern part of the island. And so after the butterflies, we made our way up a dirt road. For a while. Why have you got the map? Lost. Lost to our trees. I don't know how to get home. At least you look pretty cool. You look pretty cool. Back on track, things began to get a little hairy. Little did we know, this rickety bridge was just the start of things to come. <laughs> it was worth it though. We arrived at a secluded beach just in time for beers which was very nice. Cheers. Cheers. Yourself. Cheers yourself. We should have stayed for dinner. Even the dogs get fresh prawns. I'm filming. <laughs> Rubbish. Onward further, no one mentioned it had been raining the week before. On the plus side, we got a free mud spa. As you can see, pristine working order. Nothing will stop the other side. We live it. Approaching the furthest northwestern point, we happened upon a settlement in the middle of the forest. Its purpose quickly became clear to house the workers building a huge hotel development. There's 2,000 people working on this. 
can be huge. Apparently, all in the name of progress. Homeward bound, chasing a beautiful sunset, we contemplated what the future had in store for the largely untouched Fu Kwok. Unfortunately, it's probably going to go from this, small beachside eco-lodges like Mango Bay, to more of this, spoilt splendour.